Now I have here the camera and in the camera you have the render, the view and the view you have the resolution of your camera. If you use for example the um, Houdini Apprentice, your resolution is limited to the 7 and 20, uh, 720 uh, and 20 resolution and so this is my re re final resolution if you use for example the indie version you can use also the 4 key resolution like output and it's very high and uh, sometimes if you work with the apprentice you can to go up of this resolution here you have also information about your camera like the focal length for example if I press one my length is very wow and I 100 is very how this change sometimes the focal length we can use it is 25 is 30 35 millimeters this is very uh, comfortable usually in a more situation or in another situation you can use 50 this change also the sense of perspective this is another point maybe we can talk about that in another time however here you have all setting about camera but we don't take more care about this and here for example you have the sampling for uh, the shutter time the f-stop etc this is uh, when you work with for example the physical system however the resolution have here is more important and also is more important create the camera the camera by default is called camera 01 or cam1 and we, if uh, we can come back on the, our mantra node here, we can find, for example, cam1. Cam1 is take the, the camera one, and it can say render with the camera, and take also the information from resolution. Also, you can override your camera resolution. You can say, hey, I want the half resolution, I want, uh, bigger resolution or I want to use specific resolution, my customer resolution. Here you can set in your resolution and this is I think is more comfortable because if you, for example, sometimes it happen, if you take the Alembic system and you can bring uh, and, and you can import inside Udini your Alembic file with the camera, maybe the camera is not take the same resolution of your original camera. So uh, I find the situation where is my, for example, my camera is uh, more big, is 4 key, and when I come to uh, Houdini and import the camera, the camera is the resolution is go down, and when I render, I don't see that, and I my output is not corrected because the resolution is not the same of the input. So sometimes uh, I prefer use come here and use specific resolution here and write my resolution, my output resolution, for create a correct resolution in output. Where is the output? Where is come the output? The output is go in here, I have the image tab. In the image tab, I have my output pictures. In output pictures, here I have some variable like the hip render, hip name, OS, and frame dot AXR. What is this that? I can come here. Hip is the variable. This is also the also the variable hip hip name is the variable. Hip is where is save my file. Is the location for my file. Variable you can find in edit alias and variable. And here you can find, for example, hip now is in uh, G user, where is my file, is my G user, is my directory, is that. You can change also the directory. If you change, for example, the go here, you can set the project, new project. If a new project, you can setting all path of your project. However, here you have the hip is uh, the save of my file is where is my file and by default if you don't save it it's take uh, the the direction of your user direction render it's uh, the folder you can create and mantra or Houdini it's created for you in automatically and it's the folder where you can 
find the right value. But more interesting is that is my if file name. This is my if name. It's the name of file. And this is it's the name OS. We can see it's the name of node. And here it's the frame number f4 is the number of zero you can apply before and here is the format this is more important because that now if i keep this kind of situation maybe i have the another situation when i save i would need to create for me uh, in my folder directory where is my project create one folder is called render and every frame I save have the name of file for example if I uh, the name of file maybe in this example I can call my render my render sphere okay so it's take the, the name of for the, the file is take this dot is take the name of your node. And in this case, the name of the node is mantra01, mantra1. And the frame now is the frame is one. So it's a 0001 dot axr. And this is how we save my render okay is the name of save my render obviously you can go here you can press maybe i need more room okay Pla press on this icon and you can save also to save in another part you see now it's rendered because i try to render one image before for a stop it and for assign less uh, cpu process and for this i have the render here this is more important because uh, sometimes when you work uh, also you can create the folder with the name of your file or of your version. This is more important because uh, uh, sometimes maybe you have uh, one folder and inside the folder you start to render, maybe you need to create another variation, you can create another kind of version, etc. etc. But also we can talk about this in more depth in the, in the next lesson. Here I have another output, okay? Here I have more information like uh, uh, the format you can save and this format you can save here. Also you can, no, okay, it's not show here, but you can save, for example, in PNG, in JPEG, in uh, TGR, in uh, TIFF, in a lot of uh, uh, format you can save it, but uh, more comfortable is AXR. AXR is very huge file, but is very comfortable for compositing. Also, I recommend to use or MPlay or DJ View Player Image View for for see your sequence. Okay, because uh, the classic viewport uh, is not uh, or the classic viewer. It's not read the AXR file, or you need to like the program like Photoshop, for example, for open and read that. However, here in the out, I have all my out. You can use it, for example, the opacity, you can also the equalization, you have, and also the gamma. Also here, I can set the gamma 2.2, or by default is take also the gamma is 2.2. And here you can uncheck uh, anything because in automatic is take, for example, the shadow, the environment, you can choose what you can save it. But what is save? The sequence or is only one image? Here I have the, I can choose, for example, the current frame or the render range, the frame, and I can save the range. It's like the file cache you can find in the previous uh, lesson you can save also the another kind of your sequence and uh, this is the number is more important is one 
this one is save every one frame is save the sequence so it's take uh, frame one two three four five etc and uh, if i for example press 10 is take and is render this sequence but every 10 so take 1 10 20 40 40 etc 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 this is uh, the um, interval you can take the render and usually also because you can, you you remember you, you have this one okay this is more important